Yeah, Omar, why has this case become a symbol of the struggle for alternative media in Argentina? Actually, this is a symbol of struggle for freedom of speech, as you know, Anis. We were informing of uh, these last three years, the freedom of speech and the freedom of protest, the legitimate protest, is something that is being banned permanently. Right now in Argentina, we have over more of 40 uh, political prisoners just because they think different of what Mauricio Macri is doing on the economy in Argentina. This is something that we can actually see that's not only going on down here, but within all the region, the lawfare is the common uh, struggle that the elites are taking over uh, the popular sectors and those who think differently uh, from what Mauricio Macri's regime is actually going on. Now, um, Argentina introduced a very progressive media law a few years ago under President Cristina Fernandez. What is the situation with that law now and what is the attitude of the Macri government? Well, actually, when Mauricio Macri uh, took over power, the first thing he did was to actually ban part of the law uh, because there was this big important piece of the media that has to go to the third sector. We're talking about those sectors that actually do not compete within the formal capitalist uh, economy, but inform within these structures of the law, this uh, actually very progressive law where uh, within others, uh, the aborigines could have their own media. Right now, that's it's not working, the law's not working. They're actually banning all of it. Though what we have to say is right now there are over uh, 180 media, uh, alternative medias that are looking for become legalized. That is something that this government is not allowing them to do. Omar, we thank you so much for your time for Telesur English.